So I quit Instagram for 30 days and this is what happened, intro. Hey guys, my name is Mike Vasile. Welcome to this video. Before we actually want to remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. Instagram. I have like a love hate relationship with Instagram because of how much I love the fact that it can connect us, but I also hate the fact that I use it to just judge everybody and judge myself. And I didn't realize how bad it was until, you know, as of recently. It was around like I think 2018 where I got invited to go to this event and this event was filled with like high level entrepreneurs, right? Um, and as I was there, you know, I remember spending like five grand to go to this event. It's a Mind Valley event. It's called AFAS. I don't know if you've been there. It's crazy because you're there and it's like the, that person's an Olympic athlete. And then there was Russell Simmons over there, right? This rapper guy. And then there was this guy that was like the CEO and founder of iFlix, which is the Asian Netflix. And I'm like, oh my God, it's just me, Mike Vestia, holy crap. And here were all these successful people in front of me. And I was like, oh my God, this is the room I need to be in. I'm just some guy that has this little online business, you know, makes enough to travel and to, to, you know, do the things that he likes. But here are all these like business moguls. And I was just so inspired by this event and looking around them and I was like, okay, this is the life that I want. I want to be successful like that, right? Because look how happy they are. Look how loving their relationships are. I want that. And I kid you not, I went back home into my hotel room and I remember posting a picture on Instagram. And for the next two hours, I just refreshed it and looked at the hearts over and over and over again, like a little drug addict, right? Refresh, oh my God, five hearts. Refresh, oh my God, six hearts. Oh my God, refresh, oh, 10 hearts. And I literally did that for like, like hours, man, after just being amazed by all of these successful people. Now just imagine how ridiculous that is. Here I was wanting to become successful, creating a nice company that is prestigious, that gives a lot of value to the world, that does a lot of awesome things. I wanna be like these people that, that had a lot of these fortunes come from just like building epic things that they enjoyed building. And here I was in my hotel room, sitting in front of my phone and refreshing the screen to just see the stupid hearts pop up for hours. Looking at the comments, oh my God, did anyone say bad? Okay, look at, look at the hearts again. For two hours. You know how messed up that is? You know how much I started realizing how much that drains you to like depend on your level of happiness by how much hearts you freaking get? Oh my God, this hearts didn't get as much hearts as the last picture. Oh my God, did I do the quote wrong? Maybe I should have Googled some other quote to put at the caption of this. Oh my God, maybe I should have been more simplistic and not put a quote at all. People would think, oh my God, that's edgy. Wow, Mike. You put a picture without any caption, that's ballsy, whoa. And I started thinking about so many things that would not actually move me forward. And I started thinking, I was like, oh my God, you know, do you, do, do you think, Mike, that these multi-millionaires, these guys that built hundreds and millions and billions of dollars of companies, do you think that they spend their time, refresh hearts, refresh hearts, refresh hearts? No. And I started realizing for me to actually get there, I have to do something very drastic, and that was, realizing that I had an addiction to Instagram and I needed to quit cold turkey for 30 days. And this is exactly what happened. The first week was really hard because it's like, man, when, when you're so addicted to like what people are doing, how many views you get on your Instagram posts, how many uh, likes you get on your Instagram posts, uh, how many people look at your stories, you, you don't know what to do with your hands. Literally, it's like when you're smoking, most people don't know what to do with their hands because they're used to like a cigarette in their hands that they just replace that cigarette with food and a lot of people just end up getting fat. With me, I just didn't know what to do because it's not a cigarette, but it's like, I, I just stopped using my phone. I didn't just cut down Instagram for 30 days, but I just stopped keeping my phone on me. Because same way, if I stopped, wanted to stop smoking, as long as I don't put the cigarette in my mouth, I could eventually quit. If I wanted to quit Instagram, I knew that I just couldn't be around my phone. Because if my phone was at home while I was going around, I couldn't be on Instagram. It was literally impossible. Because as addicted as I was, I literally needed that. The first week sucked. Because I saw something cool happen and I was like, oh my God, time to do an Instagram story. Show my followers how cool I am. Oh my God, I don't know, on my phone. Oh my God, people are gonna forget about me. Oh, if I don't post a story today, if I don't take an epic picture, then it doesn't exist and it never happened. That was the first week. And it just continued on going, right? I didn't want to have like fun 
that, that's actually a weird thing that I noticed the first week when I quit Instagram. I was like, oh, well, if I can't take a picture about it or if I can't post it on my stories, then it basically never happened and people didn't know I did it. And if people don't know that I did it, then I'm not as cool. But if they're not gonna see it, then why should I actually do it? <laughs> that was actually really weird. Just think about what I just said. I know it sounds ridiculous when I say it, but just, you probably realize you're going through the exact same thing. Oh my God, if I can't take a picture about it, if I can't take a video about it, why the hell should I actually do it? Right? Isn't that ridiculous how like people actually think that? That's what most people think. And if you don't think that, lies. You think that. You care about how many people like your photos, how many people see your videos, how many people see your stories because it's just what humans do. It's the ego part of our brain that feels love and connection and significance when people actually think we're important. And that was the hardest thing to get over the first week. I was like, oh my God, where's my phone? Where's my phone? I need to post a story. Oh, okay, okay. It's, it's not here, it's at home. Okay, good. After that week of health, the second week started getting good. You know, I started, I started getting to a state of what a lot of people meditate known as presence. I started looking at things, not through my phone and through the Instagram story lens, but through my own eyes. I started noticing that, wow, actually there's a lot of cool things happening right now. And if I can't, you know, create a video about it or a picture, I can actually live my life. That was, a, that was a weird thing. I was like, whoa. I guess the second week I started realizing I've been living my life through the eyes of my lens instead of the eyes of my eyes. I started getting really, really spiritual. I was like, I don't know what it is. Like when you get all of like the addiction on the dopamine hits from like Instagram, because like I said, it's like, it's literally like crack. Like you're refreshing it. You're like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> you start actually getting more on like, I guess a spiritual level. Right? I wouldn't necessarily equate like I quit Instagram 30 days to like a Vipassana or to meditation, but it was almost like as if it was. Because here I was addicted to the dopamine and then here it was all the dopamine gone, but then I started just realizing that, oh my God, life is actually really beautiful, right? So what if I can't record this situation? So what if I can't make a video or a photo and get a bunch of likes? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because is the point of it for me to actually enjoy it or to let people think that I enjoy it when deep down I'm actually doing it for the approval of other people and the love and significance of other people. And this is when I guess leads to the third week. I started realizing just how much negativity I was actually having on my life and business. I started realizing, whoa, it started taking away all of the times that I could have been present. All the times that I was with my family, I was looking on my phone. Do you know how many limited time you have with your mom or your dad or your sister or your husband or your wife? Do you understand that we only live for a hundred years, if most? Do you understand that you could literally die tomorrow? Do you understand that you could even literally die before this video is end, before you actually subscribe? Did you know that? And yet we waste all of our time on a freaking phone. Why is that? It's so stupid. Oh, I guess that's just because that's how Instagram is built. It's built to get you so addicted to their platform so they can sell you on ads. That's how they make their money. That's how they get their valuation. Do you guys understand that people are literally paid high amounts of money to make certain apps like Instagram as addicting as possible? That was number one. I started realizing that, dude, this is the exact same thing as like cocaine, except it's like on Instagram. That's really it. The second I started realizing that it didn't really impact my business at all. I had this big fear of, oh, if I'm not in front of Instagram people all the time, I'm gonna lose money. Think about that. You, you see, especially if you look at things on Instagram as a business point of view or professional level, you're like, oh, I need to be seen. Gary Vaynerchuk posts 30 videos a day or I'm irrelevant by tomorrow. And I had this fear, I was like, oh my God, get on Instagram. I'm, I can only make money if I'm on Instagram. And I started realizing, whoa, I spent less time on Instagram and I made more money. Whoa, that was another thing. And then I started realizing, well, what is Instagram actually used for? Oh my God, that's it. I just used it to attract the opposite sex. That was really it, that was like for me. I don't know what it is for you, but like for me, that was really it, right? Because I had this excuse of, oh, I need it for business, oh, I need it for connection, oh, I need it for all these things. No, all of that was just so I could attract the opposite sex. That's what was it. And I started looking at it, I was like, okay, well, how many people I actually attracted? Like if I looked at it in terms of an investment point of view, okay? If I'm gonna spend, a couple hours, if I'm gonna spend a couple hundred dollars or a couple thousand dollars or a couple hundred thousand dollars or a couple million dollars on an investment, I, I probably need to get a return in my investment, right? Now I started looking at my love life that way. I was like, okay, if I'm on Instagram, just so I could get lucky, how much luckiness have I gotten from just my Instagram account if I was gonna look at it like a return of investment of, of money but instead time? And I was like, oh, not that much. 
So then I started asking myself, I guess this was on day 20, why the hell am I on Instagram? If it's designed by people to make it as addicting as possible so that people could, like me, could sell you ads on it. If it is not building my business at all, if it's getting me reactive where I feel like my sense of happiness and purpose and well-being is how much likes I get or how much comments I get. If I'm not actually getting lucky from it and not finding you know, suitable partners to, to be with, why the hell am I on it? It was after those 30 days that I realized I don't actually have to be on Instagram anymore. And actually that was at the end of 2018 and it's been years now, years since I've been on Instagram. You know, I ended up hiring a team and they managed the Instagram for me. They cut up a bunch of my podcast clips and they put it up there. But that was it. You know, on my phone, there's no Instagram app at all. At all. And if anything, I actually gave away, actually I got robbed with my iPhone, right? So I literally just got like this burner phone, like this Samsung, where I don't really care what happens to it because it's like, I never go on it. And that was like the thing, you know how like, they say marijuana is the gateway drug to you know all these other things. I think getting rid of Instagram was literally the gateway drug to realize that I didn't need it and to realize that wow, there's all these new levels of productivity that I can do with my life. I could have more happiness. I could spend more of this time away from my screen and actually with relationships. I didn't realize that, especially until the lockdown and pandemic happened, how much we actually crave human connection. Not from a screen, right? Because by this time, you're probably done looking at people on Zoom. We crave people to be around them in proximity, not because we want to be approved by them, but we, we just are generally designed with like our, our brain and our psychology to actually be creatures that hang around other people, to work in groups and families and teams, to build things, to create things, to create cities, to create countries, to create, you know, an, an amazing environment to thrive in. All these things, I know it sounds pretty crazy, all these things stem from me quitting Instagram and it started from that. And I started looking at all these successful people, these people that were at this Mind Valley event, the people that created $100 million, billion dollar businesses. This is probably where their mind started moving forward towards. Not, oh my God, how much likes did I get on Instagram, but all of these crazier thoughts that happened when all the time spent looking on Instagram and all of the butts that you probably look at, right? Because most of the people here are men, ages 25 to 34, just looking at my analytics. From all those butts that you're looking at, to turning it off and realizing, holy crap, I could actually create the life that I want in my life and I'm, I'm on this little rock spinning across the planet and there's this voice inside my head that's not actually my voice, but yet why do I listen to it and I can do whatever the hell that is that I want and if I hate my job, I can just go ahead and quit. I can make money online, travel around the world, be like Mike Vasile, subscribe to his channel and even join his free workshop in the link below, which is the fastest and easiest way to make money online. But guys, hopefully that helps. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, as well as check out the podcast on the homepage. With that being said, I love you guys. See you guys later. You.